All right, temperature is important in the kitchen, but we're going to talk temper now mm -hmm. with Cheryl Tan and how you handle when you are angry. It's so important because people are so angry these days. So important to address the issue. That's because uncontrolled anger can lead to some pretty big problems, misbehavior fights, problems that are playing out in our schools. A program on the peninsula has been working for almost two decades to find solutions, and it's getting some positive results. I sat down with the director, Anne-Marie Long, with the Center for Child and Family Services, and asked her, what's your problem? These days, child's play is not as simple as it used to be. So I get referrals for kindergartners, and they are already in trouble. And it's like, oh my gosh, how do they know this already? And that's, that's a little scary. Kids as young as five are recommended for counseling sessions at the Center for Child and Family Services in Hampton. Counselors try to pinpoint the anger and find a solution for it in nine-week sessions. They see between five and six hundred students a school year. The trouble, a lot of times, caused by problems in the home. And our program tries to say, what's under this? What can we do to get under this and deal with what's under it? And I think that's why we've been so successful. Anne-Marie Long has run the PATS program for 15 years. PATS stands for Peaceful Alternatives to Tough Situations. And for some kids, the situations are so tough, they feel their only solution is to act out. We work from a strength model in all our groups. The strength model being we're looking for the best and the good things and every single thing that's happening in the room for the hour that we're there. But these days, it seems that everyone is angry, and the steps Long teaches in class can really work for anybody. The advice I have, and this is kids or adults, is breathe, <laughs> breathe, and think of why are you angry? What, you know, what's going on? So there's always something else going on. And laugh, humor, we, I try, I work with the parents of these children too, and I try to get them to laugh at themselves and then laugh at the situations. The simple steps, breathe, Take a step back and make the effort to laugh do work, but Long says you won't succeed without the most important part. But the key to anger is forgiveness. You hold grudges. You carry baggage. You can't deal with everyday normal things that come at you or things that you weren't prepared for when you're carrying so many other things that you haven't forgiven, either yourself or others. Every group begins with self-esteem building and confidence building. Whether you're a kindergartner, or whether you're an adult, you want to feel, you need to feel good about yourself. And we all stumble over that sometimes. This poster says it all. Simple phrases you can share with a child or someone older. I'm proud of you. You're a trooper. I love you. And Long says the effects of these words will last long after they leave your lips. I can think of one success story in particular that really touched my heart was um, a little girl, she was 11 or 12, she was in the sixth grade. Um, she was referred to our group through her school because she was getting into fights at school. Lauren Hentenick says this young woman had to learn forgiveness. For this particular girl, we got her into writing. For her to just express herself was a big relief that she didn't feel like she had to just hold all of that in. At the end of the group, after nine weeks, she wrote me a little note, and I actually have it hanging up in my office, that just said, thank you, and I know I'm not completely over everything, but you guys helped a huge part of it. When it does happen, and, and it's happened many times, um, we cherish that. It's nice to focus on the success stories, and the PATS program actually measures success by looking at recidivism rates, those rates at which the students repeat the bad behavior. Mm -hmm. and they say the regional rate is 39%, so 39% may go back to doing the bad stuff, yeah. while the PATS program reports one of 6.5%. Wow. The Center for Child and Family Services has offices in Hampton and Williamsburg, and they offer free workshops for, for mm -hmm. anyone, for mm -hmm. parents and teachers, so it's not necessarily court-appointed, per se, yeah. but uh, for anyone uh, wanting some help parenting. Yeah, but good for the schools, the teachers that are making the referrals, or the parents who are getting help for their children. Right. Okay. And the number right there at the bottom of your screen. Okay. Thanks, Cheryl.